This is my video for the Two Gun Action Challenge match held September 16th, 2023. Both guns in the stage begin in condition three because the shooter could choose which gun they used first. I chose to begin with pistol. Pistol starts loaded only with eight rounds. There are four paper targets requiring two hits each, and I have to get both hits in the minus one zone or better. On the first target, one of my hits was in the minus three zone, incurring a 10 second penalty. Once I shoot empty, I drop the magazine, close the slide, reholster, and now I have to run back and retrieve my rifle. Once I'm in the rifle shooting area, I can chamber around. There are two targets downrange. One is a mini Ipsic and one is a slightly bigger target. You have to get alternating hits between the two of them for two hits on each target from each position. Targets are very difficult to see with iron sights in the shadows they're in. Sometimes when I send a round and miss, the dust signature actually gives me better target contrast. You're going to hear Carl commenting that uh, I seem to be missing left a lot. That might be due to the angle of light presented on the targets that I'm seeing more of the left side of the target than the right side, so my sights aren't centered on it. I'm shooting an iron sights division today at this match because I'm practicing for the Red October Cold War match where I will be competing in Free World Irons division later in the month. With irons, I do have to slow down my shot cadence and get a more refined sight picture than I'd have to with an optic, but ultimately the big challenge for me here is simply being able to see the targets at all. Well, I am missing more than I would like for every hit, it's going to become clear when we get to the results that a lot of people struggled on this stage with target visibility, even if they did have optics. I'm first in tactical irons on this stage and seventh overall. On this stage, the shooter has to get a hit on the top plate and the bottom plate of the spinner from standing, kneeling, and prone. The difficulty for me here using iron sights is that the target is not very visible in the shadows there of the overhang. The targets are placed under these overhangs to help prevent ricochets from leaving the range. With this engagement complete, I have to move across the range and get one hit on the top and bottom plate from underneath the table and repeat that again over top of the table. That's when the shooter then has a choice of if they want to rotate the spinner with rifle or if they want to rotate the spinner with pistol. If you decide to rotate the spinner with rifle, you cannot leave until the spinner is rotated. I choose to rotate the spinner with rifle and I do a reload with my coupled magazine before moving to the final position, get my two hits, then it's on to attempting to rotate it. The spinner is over, so I put the rifle on safe, point it into the berm, run down range, my pistol is in condition three. From this final position at the tree of woe, I have to get one hit top and bottom on the spinner from four different positions. The spinner is moving, so it takes me a second to get into the groove, making my hits. I start engaging the spinner as I would if I was trying to rotate it, always shooting the plate that's going away from me. And in the end, with my last round fired, I rotated a second time. Unfortunately, they said I couldn't get a bonus for doing it twice. I am first in tactical irons and third overall on this stage. The shooter's rifle begins loaded with only eight rounds of ammunition. They can engage the static steel with two hits each. The triple droppers have to fall all the way down to score. The mini mo cannot be engaged with rifle. I choose to engage the triple droppers with rifle because they're the hardest targets. Shooting empty, I move forward to engage the remaining targets with my pistol. Two hits each on these statics. The mini mo requires shooting the center of the chest to activate the head, then shooting the head back down. Good one for one hits there. Finish out on the statics. So what do you think of that strategy? I think it works. I am first in tactical irons and third overall on this stage. In the end, I'm first out of nine shooters in tactical irons division. Overall, I am third out of 44 shooters. If you like this kind of content, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you for watching. Come back again for more action shooting competition content. And always remember, the Second Amendment is for everyone.